ever forget. I got up at 8 a.m., as usual, but as I stood up, I noticed something was different. It was very cold, and I felt like someone was watching me. When I turned to my sister's bed, she woke up, and I screamed. Two heads hovered in the air, one of an older woman with long, dark hair and green eyes, the other of a bald, older man with blue eyes. I screamed again and ran to my mother. I told her what happened and saw some man at the door. I can't recall what he looked like, but I screamed and hugged my mother when I saw him. I was crying at this point, and she looked at me as I pointed to the door, not explaining why. She instantly knew what I was upset about, and she spoke in the direction of the door. I don't know what she said, I was just too scared to listen, and all I wanted was to be somewhere else. Nothing like this happened to me again, until I was 13. I was coming from my friend's house and was really tired. I went to my room, turned the lights off, and went to bed. At 4 a.m., I suddenly woke up without a reason. When I looked at the door, I saw my mother looking at my sister. She had lifeless eyes, which reminded me of the incident that happened when I was seven years old. The heads had the same lifeless eyes as my mother, except her eyes were red and just looked evil. I knew it wasn't my mom. I hid under the blanket, praying that the thing would just go away. When I looked up, it was still there. I prayed again. Then it vanished. I mean, literally vanished. I saw it with my own eyes. That thing grew fainter and fainter until I couldn't see it anymore. When it was gone, I ran to my parents and explained what happened. They believed me and said that if I couldn't go to sleep, I could watch TV or just stay up. I thanked them and went to the living room. Now, I'm 14, and I talked to my mother about the incident that happened seven years ago. And when I told her what the heads looked like, she seemed very surprised and confused. When I asked her what was wrong, she 